Good morning friends, today we are going to discuss about the detailed part of the classification of welding processes and uh, welding are different uh, processes and they are different kind of strategies and on the basis of those strategies the welding process is divided. The, it is divided by mainly in two group, one is plastic processes, another one is fusion processes and plastic processes are divided by two forge welding and resistance welding and that is again divided by these uh, resisted welding is divided by spot welding, butt welding, seam welding and percussion welding. Through that uh, the joining is established and other form is fusion processes and thermit welding, arc welding and gas welding and those things are Again uh, divided by the arc welding is mainly metal arc welding, atomic hydrogen welding and carbon arc welding. So this is the major divisions of the welding process and here in the lesson we will know the classifications of different welding process and some of the videos and other part of it will be associated with. So the welding process is associated with the another way of strategy in terms of using those medium that is another classification process that is gas welding, resistance welding, arc welding, some newer welding methodology and solid state welding. Gas welding means the gas is as a fuel that will generate the temperature and according to that it will be welded. So the fuel uh, depending on this fuel the gas welding is classified in oxyacetylene where oxyacetylene gases are used, air acetylene where air with acetylene will be used and oxyhydrogen uh, will be there where oxygen along with the hydrogen will be used. So this is oxyacetylene, air acetylene and oxyhydrogen will be there. Then the resistant welding is associated, resistant welding are mainly generating of the temperature heat from the resistance and according to that it will be the partial melting at the coalescing surfaces and on the basis of that it will be taken care of of the joining. The first one is the butt uh, joint, the second one is the butt welding first one, second is the spot welding where the sheet metals and other things are joined together, then the seam welding will be there uh, and then the projection. These are all the divisions of resistant welding. Then arc welding is divided into carbon arc, metal arc, plasma arc, gas metal arc and gas metal arc is known by the process known as MIG, gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc that is TIG, gas tungsten arc welding. So all those depending on the arc and that way they are subdivided. Very newer welding process is electron beam welding and laser. Electron beam welding is associated done in a vacuum chamber, a very new sophisticated process precise welding but the problem is that it will be in the vacuum chamber. And the second one is laser where laser light, light amplified stimulation emission radiation. This laser light will be utilized and that light will be responsible for the melting of all those uh, coalescing material and on the basis of that the joining will be performed. And the solid state welding that is a great process where we do not have to go into the melting route and that is crucial for joining dissimilar materials and all those things associated related uh, of those kind of welding. So very popular which is invented by Thomas Wen. the first one is friction steer welding uh, that is now having lot of uh, applications in the welding industry, ultrasonic welding. So all those things do not have to go to the melting way. The diffusion welding and last but not the least is the explosive welding, a very newer way of doing joining things. Now we have to come down to this definition of welding. Welding is a process of joining similar or dissimilar metals or other materials by application of heat with or without application of pressure and addition of filler material. So it is a process of joining similar or dissimilar. It is a basic process of joining similar dissimilar anything can be done that is also welding. 
or applying some kind of other filler materials with heat or without heat, with pressure, without pressure and addition of filler material. So, all sorts of things joining in this way will be come under the category of welding process. So, introduction it is used as a permanent fasteners. So, it is a permanent joining process. The fasteners are not permanent, but it is a permanent fastener. Fasteners are semi permanent, but welding is a permanent. So, it is lifetime joint and welding is essential process of every manufacturing industry. Manufacturing industry cannot exist without the taking the terrific advantage of welding process. And the future of any new metal may depend on how far it will lend itself for the fabrication by welding that means weldability. Weldability is very crucial. The material which is weldable that is a very very suitable material for welding process. So, capability or weldability is very crucial. The weldability has been defined as the capacity of being welded into inseparable joints. All materials are not very weldable and they are a challenging like say might steel is a very very easy material to be welded that is why multiplication is very popular it has extensive population extensive application of all those things of being welded into inseparable joints having specified properties such as definite weld strength and proper structure so those things are there and the weldability of any metal depends on five major factors Weldability of any metal and those five factors are their melting point, their thermal conductivity, the thermal expansion, surface condition and the change in microstructure. These will determine the weldability of those materials and the foremost thing is the melting point. The metals which are having a very high melting point conventionally through fusion welding is very much problematic. Thermal conductivity. Uh, if the heat is um, generated and kept in a confined place at the coalescent place, it will be easier. If it is very high conductivity, to keeping the heat in the confined zone is always a problem because it will be thermally conducting and heat generation will be a challenging option. Expansion because more expansion and other things it will make the material difficult to join. The surface, how the surface behaves because according to that the surface will be responsible participation in the coalescence and the microstructure has a big role to play in order to bring the strength of the welding process. So, there is another term which is very relevant to welding that is flux. It is a cleaning agent used to avoid the contamination of welded joint uh, by impurities like oxides by oxygen combined with metal during welding. So, it is a terrific process cleaning agent to avoid those things uh, and it will just uh, segregate those things and it will dissolve oxide trapped gases and slag impurities from the best metal. It will just take away all those things and that is a good for those welding process to keep the joint in a very sound position. Next is the typical joints in welding process. These bud joint, the corner joint, the lab joint, the T joint and the edge. These are all different how you want to join. Straight way you joint is known as bud joint. If it is a uh, type of a corner has to be built that is corner joint one over the other lap T the typical structure of the T formation and the edge where some some curvature and then joining of those two things in a typical format that is known as edge joint. There are different welding symbols are also very relevant because all those things are uh, designated by the welding and this is uh, showing that what will be the fillet uh, length, leg length and all those things and how the formation will be there. The first one is the fillet weld with one sided uh, leg, then the next one is the double sided length where the leg length is 12 and 6 millimeter, the third one is the symmetric in both sides the same, then the, then the so, the fourth one will be the overlapped part of it and how it is done it is shown in the figure then the V joints will be shown and represented by this figure and then bud joint with open square and all those things configuration and they are using these symbols these symbols will uh, denote in the design office in order to tell that these way the people will do those things. 
Now the another classification of welding process is solid state welding and fusion welding. Solid state welding is uh, done without going to the melting route and fusion going to the melting route. And this fusion welding again another three divisions, one is autogenous, no filler material, homogeneous that means the similar filler material composition with all those two similar materials which had to be joined and heterogeneous filler material of composition different from the base metal and maybe we are joining to different material also that is also part of it. But these kind of uh, dissimilar materials also can be joined in solid state but it is a heterogeneous welding where the filler material construction or composition is different from the parent material construction that is heterogeneous well similar homogeneous no filler material autogeneous. And the classification another way of doing classification how the TIG and MIG is uh, classified that is a consumable electrode MIG sacrificial electrode non consumable electrode that is TIG tungsten inert gas welding where electrode is not sacrificed sometimes filler material is added or not added then flux protected. So, which is called manual metal arc welding then inert gas protected that is also MIG and TIG falls into this category where inert gases are supplied sometimes CO2 is also acting as a partially inert gas in a less uh, mission critical applications of welding. The fusion welding autogeneous and the filler material is there autogeneous uh, means as we know no filler material then filler that is a subdivision filler also divided into two homogeneous and heterogeneous as we have seen the previous classification that homogeneous means the same filler material along with those parent material and heterogeneous where non similar filler material composition along with the parent material. Then another one is uh, fusion welding also single pass which is done in one pass which is done in multi plus and one more thing is that inter inert gas protected and one more variety is that solid granular jacket protected welding process that is submerged arc welding process all those things. Homogeneous welding is one way of performing fusion welding with the application of external filler material external filler material whose metallurgic composition is almost same with that of the base metals. So, there is a homogeneous one I have already discussed welding filler material having composition the same and all those things not a particular type it can be of MMAW that is manual metal arc welding TIG welding and all those things and it is one of the three different ways of performing fusion welding. So, that is also the part of it. So, all those varieties where homogeneous welding is implemented manual metal arc gas welding and it can be performed in homogeneous mode homogeneous weld also can be done by tungsten inert gas welding process also possible. Advantages of uh, our oxy fuel uh, we want to the oxy fuel gas welding cannot be performed in homogeneous mode because they do not use any filler material. Filler material composition is important if the filler material is not there it cannot be called as a homogeneous mode it is autogeneous mode. An adverse welding process as plasma, laser beam and electron beam are also mostly autogeneous because we are not adding any kind of filler material into that. So, advantages these thick plates can be welded efficiently with proper edge preparation. So, that is a tremendous advantage strength of the joint is excellent better than autogeneous welding. And due to sufficient supply of molten metal, tendency of crack deformation during the solidification reduces uh, because uh, sufficient supply of molten metal that is the advantage of homogeneous because filler material is there, welding of various joints like butt, lap, T, corner, all sorts of things are very much possible. Filler material will give this material deposition and that will be quite handy. And joints are more reliable, less chance of failure if welded properly. Uh, they can give very sound welding, but there are disadvantages of homogeneous welding not possible for joining of very thin sheets. Whenever thin sheets are there it is difficult to join and excess filler material causes reinforcement on weld bit excess uh, problem filler uh, sorry for the spelling mistake if F I L L E R it will be there and uh, reinforcement uh, these things are required to remove after welding because sometimes it is not required uh, grinding has to be carried out appearance of weld bead sometimes not good 
and the presence of filler sometimes causes some kind of sputter which is not great for these appearances and some extra cost because we are adding some extra material to that and also for its maintenance. So, autogenous welding is one way of performing fusion welding without the application of external filler material. So, as the name suggests as we have discussed so and uh, no filler material uh, it will be it to be noted that it is not a very particular type because MIG you are always using sacrificial electro so filler material is there T and GMAW uh, one of the three modes are doing all sorts of things but uh, in MIG uh, always the filler material because sacrificial electrode is used in T some cases it can be possible. And solid state welding are usually autogenous. the reason is that uh, there is no melting and no point in adding all this filler material. So, solid state welding like say friction stair welding, autogenous, ultrasonic welding, autogenous. Solid state means it is not allowing any melting and that means it is not allowing any molten metal. So, filler material addition question does not arise. So, tungsten and oxy fuel can be performed in autogenous mode also. Uh, various advanced welding such as those uh, plasma arc laser and all those things are mostly autogenous because concept of adding filler material is not there and some fusion welding process which cannot be performed in autogenous way like say MIG it has to add some filler material and manual metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding and flux code arc welding all use consumable filler material. So, cannot be performed definitely as it is a filler material based. So, it cannot be performed in autogenous welding mode. Advantages of autogenous welding fusion welding of thin sheet possible only in autogenous way because extra material and other things it will just jeopardize the joint because that kind of thickness will not be there the thickness will be more than that. So, sheets are better to be joined by autogenous mode no extra cost filler material will be there. That is the advantage, weld appearance is also good because extra filler material will create some complex surfaces, process can be easily automated and no problem at all associated and no post grinding is required to remove reinforced past. So, grinding because extra material cannot be does not require to be removed. So, disadvantages one bug join is possible that too many no root gap between the parent parts. And the thickness of the past plate size is also limited to those things. So, there are some disadvantages. Limited uh, sheet thicknesses can be done, and strength of the joint is also not great because the consolidation and penetration and other things are not obtained as the filler material is not added. So, sometimes the strength is compromised. So, molten metal from the base is used to fill the narrow gap because autogenous no filler material root gap will become slightly weaker obviously because extra material is not there and joints are crack sensitive because not, not great uh, material deposition. So, crack can be percolated initiated very easily cannot be applied for joining more than two parts that are equal substantial amount of filler material. Uh, because in many of the cases uh, two parts and other things joining required filler material and no edge preparation is allowed because sometimes edge preparation it is not uh, having enough molten material deposition. So, only square edge will be preferred and complete removal of any oil rust because it will less uh, material will be added uh, so that the surface cleaning has to be done no rust or scale for the sound weld it will be a detrimental effect for the sound weld. And heterogeneous welding is one way of performing fusion welding by external filler which is of a different metallurgical con construction different from that of base material. So, filler material is applied during join and composition is different from that of the base welding then it is termed as heterogeneous that is the definition of heterogeneous welding. And it is to be noted that it is not a particular type of welding process it will be just like one variety of applications of MMA, W or T or GMA and it is one of the three different modes of doing all sorts of things. Heterogeneous welding, brazing and soldering are common examples. Uh, where manual metal arc welding, gas metal flux core are can be performed in heterogeneous mode if the um, filler materials are different from that of the metallurgically different from that of the structures. 
Advantages of welding, thick plates can be welded efficiently with proper age preparation, strength of the joint is excellent, better than autogenous welding and due to sufficient supply of molten metal, tendency of crack formation during solidity reduces, that is the advantages of the homogeneous welding and various joints and all sorts of things will be available there. Homogeneous, uh, the disadvantage is not possible for joining very thin sheets uh, because you have to add some kind of material, excess filler material causes reinforcement that is the problem, so bead appearance and all those things are not that great and presence of filler sometimes all those puttering and other things will be there and extra cost for those filler material. So thank you very much for patient hearing of all those classifications related to the mainly welding process and how they are implemented in terms of operations and methodologies. Thank you.